Hello, we are discussing about gate 2015 ECE paper. Look at the circuit diagram. It has given a voltage regulator circuit. Input voltage is 20 volts plus or minus 20 percent and the regulated output voltage is 10 volts. Assume the op amp is ideal. For a load RL drawing mill 200 milliamperes, find the maximum power dissipation in Q1. Okay. Power dissipation of a transistor is going to be generally calculated as IC into VCE. Collector current into collector to emitter voltage is nothing but power dissipation across transistor. And it is approximately equal to IE into VCE in our question. Because Q1 is in the active region and for that one collector current and emitter current are approximately same. This is IC and IC is approximately equal to IE. Okay. So, VCE into IE is the power dissipation across transistor Q1 and this will be PDQ1 is maximum whenever the transistor power dissipation is maximum is when input voltage is at maximum. If you are giving maximum input then only you will get the maximum power dissipation across transistor. If you are giving less voltage you will get the less power dissipation. So, maximum power dissipation happens whenever input is maximum. So, it has given V input is 20 volts plus or minus 20 percent. 20 percent of 20 volts is 4 volts. So, 20 volts may be reduced by 4 volts or may be increased by 4 volts. So, V input range, V input range is from 16 to 24 volts. Now, V input maximum is nothing but you must consider it as 24 volts. So, assume that one V i is at 24 volts. Okay. And given V0 is equal to 10 volts, 10 volts is going to be this much. Okay. And current flowing through load is given as 200 milliamperes. And this node is at 10 volts. Okay. And we are going to calculate current flowing through this node. Okay. We don't know the values of R1 and RL. No need also. So look at this one. This is op amp and it has given ideal op amp. One of the important characteristic of ideal op amp is open loop gain is infinite. Always output of op amp is open loop gain times of open loop gain times of input differential voltage. So VID can be written as V0 divided by AOL that is V0 divided by infinite which is zero. Input differential voltage means voltage at non-inverting terminal minus voltage at inverting terminal is equal to zero that makes V plus is equal to V minus. So, voltage at non-inverting and voltage at inverting terminals are always same. Okay, Voltage at inverting terminal, voltage at non-inverting terminal are going to be at same node even though both are different nodes. Look at this one. Okay, This is non-inverting node and it is inverting node. Both are different nodes but both will be at same value for the ideal op amp. That means there is a small invisible wire is present across these two nodes that's why it is called as virtual short. It is not visible but it acts as a short circuit only between inverting and non-inverting terminals. So that's why this concept is called as virtual short which is only valid for ideal op amp with infinite open loop gain. Okay. So because of that point we can say voltage across this one is also 4 volts and now we know the voltage across this resistor and the resistance value. Current flowing through this one is 4 divided by 10 kilo ohms. So that is 0.4 milliamperes. And this is a 0.4 milliamperes and the current flowing through R1 is going to be gets divided into these two branches. And ideal op amp is going to be having infinite input resistance because of that one current flowing through inverting terminal, current flowing through non-inverting terminal is always zero. No currents are entertained into input terminals of op amp because of infinite input impedance. Infinite input impedance means open circuit. Under open circuit, no current flows. So, this is 0.4 milliamperes and it is 0 milliamperes. Total is 0.4 milliamperes. 0.4 milliamperes. Now, IE is sum of these two currents. So, IE can be written as 0.4 plus 200 milliamperes. So, this will be 200.4 milliamperes and VCE if you are going with VC minus VE. VC is nothing but collector voltage. 
collector voltage is voltage at collector node that is directly connected to VI minus VE emitter voltage emitter voltage directly connected to output node that is V0 and for maximum power dissipation we must consider VI as 24 input voltage and output voltage is at 10 volts so VCE for maximum power dissipation is 14 volts and now power dissipation across transistor Q1 maximum power dissipation is VCE into IE so this will be equal to 14 into 200.4 which is equal to 2856 milli volts that is 2.856 volts so sorry this is volts and it is milli amperes so this will become milli watts so this will be become watts so power dissipation is watts 2.856 watts 2.856 watts so this is the right answer for the given question thank you